Click today. You know, the government right now is offering a reward if you snitch on tax cheats, but Congress just blocking my next guest bill that would fire government workers caught not paying their own taxes. Republican Congressman Jason Chaffetz joins me right now. The congressman just likes to, to just completely alienate the folks he works with. Um, so, Congressman, good to have you back. Hey, I'm fired up. Good to be with you, Neil. So, how many in Congress uh, and, and or in the government period do you suspect either have tax problems or arguments with the IRS? Well, we're looking at the IRS data, and it shows that there are nearly 100,000 federal workers who are taking a federal paycheck and not paying their federal taxes. And on Capitol, not paying Hill, any federal just, taxes, or just. We're just dodging well, stuff. Well, they, they, they fall into this category where they have seriously delinquent tax debt. That is, the IRS is getting to the point where they have not been able to collect these taxes, and uh, I want to give the government the opportunity to fire these people. In the IRS, if you work for the IRS, they have this provision, and they can fire their employees. Well, guess what? They have the highest compliance rate. But you start to look at these other departments, and that's a lot of people. There are nearly 700 people working on Capitol Hill in the House and the Senate that fall into this category, 50 at the White House. All right, now, so it, I want to give, I want to understand, this to be fair, because I, there's a difference between not paying your taxes for what you think is you're, you're, you're being unfairly penalized by the IRS or you're in the middle of a drawn out process and protests with the IRS and deliberately not paying. I know you can't break down the data there, but again, I'm trying to give the benefit to all the doubts here. Uh, what percentage of these do you suspect, Congressman, are just genuine cheats? Well, what the, the language in the bill that I have introduced gives is if you are on a payment plan, if you're having your wages garnished, if you're truly trying to dig out of a hole that you got into, then you're not going to be fired. Uh, I don't know what percentage that is, but this data comes from the IRS um, through the, the personnel management, and, and we've got to go tackle them. I don't care if there's two, but when they tell us there's 100,000, there's a, obviously a very serious problem. 100,000? All types of government workers, federal government workers, what? Oh, yeah, up and down. This is just the civilian part of it. it, it the IRS is telling us that there is about a billion dollars in uncollected taxes from people who are taking a federal paycheck. And so when you, when you add up the people who are retired or part of the uh, military and that sort of thing, the number grows to $3 billion. So, and, so and this is the same government that, you know, that, that's saying, that encouraging people to snitch on their neighbor which could really be for a little more reason than you don't like your neighbor. Um, yep. and, and it's hell to pay if, if, if that neighbor doesn't. Um, but not in the case of government workers, right? Well, again, I, put, I think this is just a common sense bill that says if you're taking a federal paycheck, you ought to be paying your federal taxes. And if you're not, you should be fired. I, it should be that simple. And we should not have hundreds, let alone thousands, 100,000 people. And that, again, it falls into this category of seriously delinquent tax Well, I'm debt. sure you're getting overwhelming who, like, support. One day. You're getting overwhelming support, I'm sure, from your colleagues on this measure, right? Oh, yeah, they love this, yeah. <laughs> All right. But they should. Look, it's just common sense. Come on. Who's going to fight against this? All your colleagues. Um, well, actually, I actually do have an idea of who's going to fight against this, but, you know, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll have a discussion about the unions later. All right. Uh, the Congressman making friends left and right since he arrived in Washington. Congressman, thank you very, very much.